guys, welcome back to some more Eternal Evolution. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at the events that are going up. Also, it is a pivotal moment in here, guys. Not only is the Summit Arena almost complete, Dan is in there, so big shout out to Dan for making it into the top ones. Definitely go in and vote for him, guys. Now, looking at the events, we got super, super lucky in here. So Galactic Treasure, you have to farm the Galactic Arena every single time. Um, every single day, you can get five of these stones. With that being said, though, you have to win. I didn't realize when I first went in there that you actually have to win the five battles. Um, so make sure you're adjusting your teams and getting set up for win. But looking at the loot that we've had in here, guys, it is phenomenal. This is probably one of the biggest games that give you a absolute plethora of loot every single time you play. All of the events are packed with it. Limited cards, even looking at the gene hybrid, guys, I thought this was only a piece of a gene hybrid, but it is the full gene hybrid. 24 hours EXP, 24 hours on the soul rublets. Um, absolutely wanna get everything out of here. We have a couple more days of this left, and I feel like we're probably gonna clean it all out. It looks like we've almost cleaned everything out. Even another couple days, I think I'll have more than enough to get everything in here. And also the quantum mimic machine, I pulled it, guys. The one thing that I wanted absolutely more than everything, the Dominant Nucleus, it is the first um, red prototype that I have. And look what it does, increases the damage of the basic attacks of all summoned creatures. Most of you know if you've been watching my videos that I run full summoning teams. Works incredibly well. The damage is actually through the roof, which is pretty surprising. When allied summon launch a total of eight basic, basic attacks, their damage bonus is permanently increased 4% up to five times. That is a 20% bonus, guys. It's going to be huge. It, it is going to be huge with this. Um, just pulled my three more pieces of this to pull for today. I'm going to do a couple more. Maybe we can get a copy of Boda. Last two times, I did get copies of the hero themselves, which it looks like this. Just some more resources. So we'll have to see if we can do it today or, or tomorrow. We only have three more days. So we are almost done. There it is, guys. I want to go check this out. I want to level it up. Recruitment event, we need a couple more to get these. Now, this is what I've really been focusing on. Um, so what do we need? 50, we need 60, 70, 80. We need 39 more summons to get three 24 hours. I'll do it. I'll do it for 39, guys. Here's 34 of my 39. Wish list, um, I put more in there, as we know before. Still leveling up the rest of these. Already have a couple heroes, like um, Kalaza, already up to max out total immortal so i've actually been using the extra copies that i've been getting to him as food for the rest of these heroes guys we we have a ton of heroes in here it, it's incredible to see muka we're still trying to find some more copies of but we've been getting really really lucky in my opinion in this game um hopefully it will continue and then we'll have the opportunity to build up a couple more heroes and always summon when the recruitment events are up guys it is really the, the time to get the most bang for your buck. Not only do you get the rewards, but you also get the exchanges, which I've been using for a lot of the heroes that we've been building up in here. I feel like we're to the point of this game again, where we can cover a lot of this. I, I mean, we really have a lot of heroes in this game. We have a lot of the heroes built. I'm gonna continue building out Taylor. Absolutely, I want some more copies of him. And I'm going to also continue with, I think I'm going to do Senway. The artist is almost done. I'm going to do Boar. Boar, I can definitely use, guys. Again, limited with the vanguards, between the vanguards and the tanks, I'm really getting a couple of the heroes in there that I can use. And look at that, our first, our first elite out of here, guys. It is a Marwa. But that is out of the recruitment summons in there. Um, we have a couple here, so what do we need? We need five. Let's go ahead. I'm going to do five more of these. Um, you can see we got a couple more cards. Now, I got super lucky last time, guys. I did a 10 summon. I pulled Skour and Hattie, um, which we already had. So we got another copy of. And then, out of the Giant Tower, we got another one. So we got two more copies of Skour and Hattie out of there. There's one. There's two, three, four. And our final one, number five. Just a little bit more food, but that's okay because we got our extra cards, which honestly, I don't think we're going to use, well, we're not going to use for the heroes, but 24 hours, we still get some of these guys for all oh, right here. 
Guys, mythic runes are super, super important to come by. Um, even the 24 hours, I'm not going to get another 100. I only have five of these. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to pick up four. I'm going to pick up one of those. I'm going to pick up one of these. And again, I'm not even going to... I'm not, and I'm not sure if they carry over. During the event, you can get additional access ships when you recruit heroes. Um, might be worth saving them. I'm, I'm not sure if those carry over. I don't think they do, though. I don't think they carry over. After the event, unused chips will be converted to diamonds. That's what I thought. I, I was almost positive they did not convert over, which they do not, guys. Let's hop in the base. Let's check out our prototype over here. Our very first one, guys. The, the one and only. Here we go. We'll level it up. Level 9 prototype. Now we need more. Look how high it goes, guys. Oh, I cannot wait to see. I think they showed it to us at level 6. So all summon creatures by 10%. When allied summon launch 10 attacks. Permanently increased by 0.4. They show you the complete maxed out dominant no um, nucleus. But that's okay. That is still going to be a damage bonus of what? 2%. I think we're going down to 2% on that one. But that's okay. Because again, the summoning teams that I run, guys. I, I literally run full summoning teams. Which is awesome to see. Reason I wanted to build out Score and Hattie. Absolutely, guys. So we get another copy of Ravina, or, or excuse me, Serena. So getting her built up, there we go. Um, we got two of our stones there. And like I was saying earlier, Score and Hattie, we got double copies again. Did a 10 pull, got a copy. Out of the tower, got another copy. Double copies of them again, which is incredible. Incredibly, incredibly lucky. Um, to get some copies out. So let's make some food in here. And we will continue to build them out, guys. Summoning team is going to be broken. I, I, It is pretty broken. I've ran it in a bunch of different modes. And again, there's summoning teams that work incredibly well within the guild boss. Um, which is one of the reasons I started building the summoning team. Was for those guild bosses. So there is another copy. There we go. Need a little more evolution material. I'm going to use one of these. Confirm. And there we go, guys. That unlocks the rest of their talent. Takes them to Immortal. Boom. Immortal Twins. Next one. Um, oh, who should I save it for? I'm, I'm trying to think. Now, Boar, it looks like we got a couple more copies. Or we got the copy we just picked up. Already have food sitting down here just waiting for the big bear. There we go. Also on... Uh, Boda, Boda, we got another copy. Through summons, guys, we got another copy. We'll give him a little bit, give her a little bit of food. Then I'm going to sit on Bo Boda where she's at. Um, rest of the heroes in here, again, that's extra copies. We still have a lot to build in here, guys. To get the rest of these up and built to Immortal, but look. Guys, we almost have two full rows of Immortal. And you know what? We have Leo in here. Where is Leo? I'm, I'm willing, with the vanguard that Leo is, guys, um, I am willing to use my other stone in there. Just because Leo is my tank. Leo is the, the one in primary. There we go. So that builds him to immortal as well. And that gives us two, almost two full rows of immortal heroes, guys. Immortals, where you want to get them to, you want to unlock the rest of their talents. Um, really, really a game changer when you get to this talent portion. Um, because of adding in not only the survival aspects, but also the abilities. Each time they cast Soul Seeker Champ permanently increases crit damage by 5% for the rest of the battle, up to 30%. 30% crit damage increase. Huge. Absolutely huge with these heroes. After performing a basic attack, immediately reduces the remaining cooldown. I'll take a cooldown reduction on the abilities. Then, of course, we want to stack the attack. Look at that, guys. 14% attack on there. Plus another 7. That is huge, guys. Absolutely huge. I'm going to have to save up some more resources to uh, build the rest of these out. Because we have the same for Leo. We have the exact same for Leo, guys. We're going to have to build out Leo. 
a little bit higher. Just have those last talents that we got to get. And of course, or exclusive wise, he was at 20. Um, I was saving to build up. Daniel's already at a plus 30, which is awesome. Um, I'm going to build up score. Score and Hattie, guys. Damage, amplification, and attack. So when you think in the entirety of what we added for talents, what we added just getting them leveled up by what, three copies? And then also adding in the additional for the exclusive item, guys. They're gonna do a lot more damage. Coupled with the prototype we got today, um, huge. And then of course the big one, guys, right here, we hit 100,000. I just hit it this morning. 100,000 on Daniel, which puts him at 200. Jaguar is going to be doing 10% um, more damage. But there we go, guys. Added another couple hundred attack, another couple hundred defense. And of course, what's that? 15,000 HP on there. Jaguar goes up to level three. Level 200. My first and only level 200, guys. We still have 40 more levels. So I'm going to take everybody else up to the 199 level. And then we'll have to go from there. So I've been systematically going back and forth and kind of leveling them up a couple times. Um, that way I can raise the level cap of everybody that we have within the team. So even if I'm running multiple teams where I have um, three different teams that I have to fill, getting them up a couple more levels across teams makes a big, big difference, guys. Makes a big difference in their power in here when we're leveling up like this. 187 is now the lowest level. We are at what, 182 or 184? I think 184 before. I mean, that even takes score and had it quite a bit higher, which is awesome to see. Boar, again, finally got his exclusive item. Bear Vanguard shall ignore the first fatal strike. So similar to what we have on um, Leo that he receives in battle, he will therefore gain a bear shield equal to 6% of his HP for six seconds. That means he's not going to die, which is awesome, guys. He is so cool looking. Um, but in immunity right there, guys, you want to build Boar. Boar is going to be definitely one of my tanks. I have Oak, and again, I built up Oak for a while. Um, seems like when he's in, in battles, he gets stomped. A lot of times when I use him, he does get completely crushed, guys. But very, very cool to see. We are almost rolling with two full immortal sets of heroes. All right, guys, so that'll do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.